What's going on everybody? I'm here. And I'm Katie. And today for Thrifty Thursday, we're taking some just regular egg decorations and making not some... Not real eggs. Yeah, not real eggs. And we're making dragon eggs out of them. So, the reason we're doing this is now that it's becoming fall and usually getting fall is... time for renaissance. And yeah, stuff. getting time for the renaissance fairs and all that. Usually people start doing those when it's colder and... You can dress up and not sweat like a pig the whole day, you know. Glue. We're using hot glue. Yeah. Just so, let you know. this will be a hot glue project. So, as you know, our hot glue projects tend to be kind of funny. Um, so, what we'll do, be using is these hot glue and our bag of paints. And paint pens. And, yeah, paint pens and maybe some other items as well. Maybe some glitter, stuff like that. Yeah, Katie's Katie's all about her glitter paint, so anyway, Katie, are you ready to get started? Yep. All right, let's get started. Okay, so we have our eggs here, and these are pretty much the same eggs we used in our Easter egg video. Um, you know, not the kind of Easter eggs like where you play video games, but you know, the good Easter eggs that you go out and hunt. I mean, those could be good Easter eggs too. But anyway, so our first step here, Katie, if you'll go ahead and start explaining that to them. First step, we're going to take hot glue and just add whatever kind of design you want, but make sure that you let it dry properly, because if you don't, the paint and the glue will not be good together. And if you want to do a layerable type of design, you must make sure that it is dry before you continue, because otherwise you will just mess everything up. So let's get started. Yeah. And in three, two, one. Alright, so here's my first egg, and still a little hot in some spots, but I think... That's why you leave it to sit and work on the next one. Yeah, we're going... for last. Yep. And Katie, if you want to show off yours. I don't even know what I was going for. I did swirls on the bottom, where it connects on the bottom as well, and then like three dots on the top. So... Kind of like an egg you would find from a fairy or something. Yeah. Mine's more of like a natural, you know, dragon egg. It's not the scaly ones like you see in modern stuff, but like the whole swirly design on them. And so my next one, I think I'm going to try to be a little more intricate and artsy with. Yeah. I don't know about you, Katie. I don't know what your plan is, but... I don't know. I might go to Google for inspiration. Just right. inspiration. So, we'll go ahead and get started with gluing these. And... The design I want to do is something sort of like what you just did there. And just come around like that. And then I ain't worried too much about, I'll, you know, I'll worry about the strands later. So. Alright, take a set. Now I need to come here to the end. Oh well, my second glue stick that I already put in there mm -hmm. just fell completely out. So it's not even trying to push. Okay. And then come around to here. I have nowhere to rest my egg right now because I'm I'm getting lots of long strands here, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish up these and then show you the next part. Okay, so I finally got the water for our paint brushes. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint my first egg, which is gonna be the the more oddly done one. I'm just gonna go ahead and put a base coat of black on there. And you can't really see what I'm doing, so I'm trying not to go over Katie's work here. But what you want to do is you just want to kind of lightly get that all over the place. Or that black is just going to take over everything. You definitely don't want to leave any spaces of white. Yeah, so you want to get down into those little crevices. And, and even if you do leave a space of white, you know, it's up to you however you want to design your egg. If you want to leave spaces to make it look like the egg is just, you know, 
especially you know, just a different design again up to you but you want to basically fill any gaps so that it looks very neat and clean so when we come back we'll show you what our first eggs look like okay so we have our first base coats done I went with the glow-in-the-dark green here for this one and uh, Katie actually found a neat trick to dry in the paint a little quicker which we've known about this hair dryer yep and there's my second one which is the black base this was my first one did a purple like a purple metal base and then my second one I did a gray like, that looks almost like a stone that's impressive oh, I still got a little bit of wet paint there but that's fine um, so the next thing you want to do is we're going to take our paints and yeah this is still usable and we're just going to gently apply it and you don't want to put too much on there but you just want to kind of apply it and make it so that it just kind of accents it a little bit highlights it so not a whole lot of paint will be needed for that part and I like it. I like the fact that I, that these are like. I mean, that's already starting. To, I'm looking. I'm gonna look at it in the light a little bit here, just to make sure that it's going off. It's working fine. But what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna accent both of our eggs, and when we come back, we'll show you our final products. Okay, so we got our eggs finished painting. We took care of the detail afterwards. So, Katie, I'll let you show off yours first. Okay, this was my first one. We're, I tried to go with like a swirly design with some dots on the top, but kind of made a boo-boo and dropped it in paint. So I tried to come back and do a shadow, and it didn't turn out that well, but hey. Yeah. And this one, one is my favorite. I call this one the Earth Dragon. It's got the scales, and it's the gray base paint, and the highlight is the neon glow-in-the-dark green came out really well yeah, it looks amazing Katie so my favorite element and like almost anything is ice and water I love you know anything like that so my first one I went with I'm calling this one like a frost dragon's egg so it's metallic blue with dark tones as you know a lot of people tend to use light colors with snow and ice but if you really think about it, I mean, that looks really good. That's, I mean, the detail in that is pretty good for, you know, me. And I'm happy with it. And my next one up, I'm calling this one a sea dragon just because I used the glow-in-the-dark paint as a base. So it gives it that. <laughs> yeah, I can't read yeah. it. Yeah. I'll get up a little bit closer so it focuses on it. But I used a glow-in-the-dark base paint and then followed it with the metallic blue again because I love blue in general. Blues are, like, my favorite colors. So, it really looks pretty good, and it glows in the dark, so, you know, I won't be able to show it off here because we have so much just background light that we have going on. But, this was a fun project, and I saw this on, like, different websites and, you know, all that stuff like that. So, you can find, this, find the instructions to do this on, like, Pinterest or YouTube or anywhere like that, our video especially. But anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Leave a comment below. Let us know what you thought of this project or what you'd like to see us do next. And so, if you want eggs like this and you can't find the time or the energy to be crafty, you can always shoot us a comment saying, hey, maybe you should open a store or, or I'd like to get one. Who knows? Maybe we might Etsy one day. you got to let us know as our audience. Yeah. So anyway... Thanks for watching, and we'll see, see you in the, the next, next video. video.